Today, you're here to make a very important decision, and the VBS that you choose matters. Ten years ago, I chose Group Publishing's VBS, and it's literally transformed my ministry in that time. And this year, Group Publishing has reimagined <coughs> what VBS will be in the hearts and the minds of your kids. It's time to take VBS to the next level, and the sky is the limit. At Sky VBS, Everything is possible with God. No matter who you are, trust God. No matter what people do, I can trust God. No matter how I feel, scared, sad, or angry, I can trust God. No matter what happens, good or bad, I can trust God. No matter where I am, I can trust God. Things are looking up. We can trust God. Everything is possible. So I want you to take your napkin out. And I know you just got comfortable, but I want you guys to get up and form groups of like six or seven people. You need some floor space for this, okay? Make sure you got your lid ready, okay? Because once you pop it in, ready? We're going to plop it in, take your lid, listen to it click, and then flip it upside down on top of there, and wait, move your face away. Oh. Now, somebody did theirs before I told it. <laughs> you know him. You love him. But you have never seen him like this. At Sky VBS, Chatter Chipmunk gets a tuna. <laughs> Hi there. So excited! Wow! Ow. Yeah! Ow! Chatter's new high action adventure, Catch Some Air, at Sky VBS. Now the kids at the Sky Field Test fell in love with Chatter's new look. I mean, now that we've cut his strings, he can go anywhere. He can do anything. Nothing is impossible with animation. And animation's cool and it's relevant. And that matters to kids. You know, Sky VBS is all about life change. It's about taking the time to prepare your kids' hearts and minds so that they can receive the gospel message in a very unforgettable way. I mean, when you get down to it, it's really just about making Jesus real to the kids. That is the most important thing. So when your kids go home singing the songs and talking about all the Bible stories and the fun time that they had at uh, VBS that week, their families, they're listening to them. And one of the ways that we do that at Sky VBS is... We do it with the eye-opener cards. And these are surprising conversations about God. And each day, the kids are going to receive one of these cards. And in their group time, they get to discuss what is on their card. And hopefully, by the end of the week, they'll feel comfortable in talking about their faith with their friends and their families. At Sky VBS, you get to show kids no matter who they are, no matter what they do, and no matter where they come from, God will love them and they can trust God no matter what. Jesus loves the little children, all the little children. And this summer, you and your church will have an opportunity to save an entire nation. Let's take a look. Operation Kid to Kid, a partnership between your church, group publishing, and World Vision is an effort to eradicate malaria from the country of Mali. Yep, the entire country. We're out to save a nation. 
$6 provides one mosquito net that will cover up to three kids for four years. Every donation, no matter how small or big, makes a life-saving difference. You'll even get to make a friendship card to share God's love with the children who receive the mosquito nets. And everyone gets one of these Bugs Prayer Mosquito Clips. You'll track the amazing difference your church is making and give each person a lasting reminder to keep praying for the children of Mali. Together, we can change those statistics. Together, we can save a nation. Let's squash malaria. Now the kids at the Sky Field Test, they truly understood what this mission was all about. They understood the significance of actually saving a child's life. They also understood it didn't matter what the size of the donation was, it always helped, and their prayers, all that mattered, and so do yours. This summer, you get that opportunity to show kids that no matter what, God loves them. <coughs> I have one other thing that I want to mention. Group Publishing is doing a third VBS this summer, and it's called Rocky Point Lighthouse. I don't think they have a kit in yet, but it's a smaller kit, and it's a weekend VBS. So it's a six-hour program, and just a little bit of a lesser scale than what we typically do in Sky. So if you want information on that, I'd be happy to help you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. This summer, Standard Publishing would like for your church and your children to experience Adventures on Promise Island where kids learn about the life-changing love of God. I'm P.J. Roberts, as you heard, and I am going to be your guide tonight on Adventure Island. Now, the Bible tells us that God always keeps His promises, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. And that His promises never change, mm -hmm. even though our life certainly will. Mm -hmm. Now, through hands-on exploration and life-changing adventures, your children are going to read from their Bible. They're going to learn their lessons. They're going to plan. They're going to share them with others. And they're going to apply those lessons in their own lives. Welcome to Adventures on Promise Island, where kids discover God's life-saving love. On Promise Island, amid swaying palm trees, exotic wildlife, and welcoming sunshine, kids will experience the powerful, unchanging promises of God. The adventure starts at Seaside Celebration, where kids will enjoy an awesome island set, fun games, skits, videos, and amazing music and worship. Then they're off to a Bible adventure at Lifeguard Lagoon. Kids will participate in lifeguard training exercises, compelling Bible stories about God's promises, and intriguing rescue reviews. Over at Funtime Falls, kids will explore an outdoor environment and enjoy high-energy games that remind them of God's life-saving love and unchanging promises. The adventure continues at Project Point as kids get creative with crafts and serve others through meaningful, hands-on service projects. Kids take a break from their adventures while making and eating their own snacks at Coconut Cafe. There's time for kids and leaders to talk together about their adventures, God's promises, and His life-saving love. Tadpole Bay is an adventure paradise for preschoolers. It's loaded with fun, music, games, and lots of preschool-friendly activities. Everything at Tadpole Bay helps young children explore God's promises. Each day on Promise Island, kids will see God at work in the lives of Old and New Testament Bible characters and realize that God's promises are for us too. In session one, they'll explore how Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego depended on God and discover that God promises, I am with you. In session two, Kids will see how Jesus cared for Mary, Martha, and Lazarus and discovered that God promises, I care about you. Kids will explore in session three what people really need through the story of four men who brought their friend to Jesus. Kids will discover that God promises, I give you what you need. 
In session four, kids will learn the greatest story of all, Jesus' death and resurrection. Kids will discover that God promises, I will save you. And in session five, kids will experience the story of Paul and Silas in jail, singing and praying. And kids will discover that God promises, I will answer you. Standard Publishing's VBS material gets kids into the Bible, so kids read, learn, and share what the Bible says about the promises of God. So what are you waiting for? Come explore Promise Island. God's promises never change, but your life definitely will. Kids experience God's promises each day at Lifeguard Lagoon. Remember from the video, Lifeguard Lagoon is your Bible lesson site. Um, but your kids are not going to just sit and listen to somebody tell them a Bible story. They're going to, in multi-sensory and interactive ways, they're actually going to participate in that lesson. It's going to become a part of them. They're going to learn how to apply that lesson. Each day your lesson's going to begin with um, learning about a lifeguard's duty. And through those experiences, they will soon realize that God is our ultimate lifeguard, even when we're nowhere near water. So, a lifeguard's duty is to help people, right? That's the main, the main purpose. Mm -hmm. So, that means whether somebody's hurt and they need first aid, or a child's lost their parents, you know, and, and you got to help them find their parents. It's a lifeguard's duty to do things in a timely fashion. Well, in this lesson, we're going to learn about Mary and Martha in the lesson, I Care For You. And this year, our music is going to be even more fun than it's ever been before. Standard Publishing has partnered with Yancey. If you're familiar with her or if you're not, you will love her. She is an awesome uh, worship leader, songwriter. She's a little edgy. Your kids are just going to identify with her. And I hope you do too, because I just love her. Hi, I'm Yancey, and I'm so excited to be part of Standard Publishing's BBS for 2012, Adventures on Promise Island. I wrote the music, I produced it, and I even sang on a lot of the songs. And I'm excited about these songs because it's not just music, but it's stuff that is filled with God's Word. And I believe that music is a great way for us to connect with kids and families that are going to be attending your church this summer and attending your BBS. And you know what guys, music is a great way for them to soak in these promises that you're going to be teaching them and to retain it, not just next week, not just in a few months, but throughout the years of their life, they'll be able to remember the truth of God's Word through these songs. I'm excited about it.
and take it home, you'll have a CD in that kit. I want you to start making copies of it immediately. That's right, I want you to copy it and I want you to give it out. You have permission from Standard Publishing to make as many copies as you would like. I recommend if you do a canvassing of the neighborhood to invite children to come to your VBS, give them that CD. If they never come to VBS, you have given them the Word of God through that music. It's a great tool to use. Now, also, I suggest, this doesn't come in your kit, but it's the DVD, what you were just watching parts of, that has the motions and Yancey singing. Play this in your children's ministry starting Sunday. Just get the, uh, the DVD and begin to play those songs. By the time VBS gets here, your children will be so familiar with them, and then they will help the children around them to learn. Has anybody got more money than they can spend on VBS? <laughs> I was going to invite you to partner with me. <laughs> How about, do any of you already have a beach towel and a beach umbrella? Maybe a sand pail and a beach ball? You're already on your way um, to beginning to decorate for, um, for VBS this summer at uh, Adventures on Promise Island. So it's going to be easy on your budget as well. Groups Babylon VBS is designed to teach kids the truth so they can take that truth and apply it to their everyday lives. You know, there's a lot of miraculous stories and characters in the Bible that we just hesitate to talk about. And probably because we can't pronounce their name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me give you an example. I give you Ashpanaz. Oh, That's right, Ashpanaz. And you know, until group came out with their Babylon, I had never even heard of Ashpanaz. Okay? Anybody else? There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, Ashpenaz was not just a big, long name. He was a pretty big deal. And we're going to find out exactly who Ashpenaz was. So get ready to go back, all the way back, as we bring the Bible to life in Babylon. So you guys take a look. When our family walked through the doors of our Babylon VBS, it was like stepping back in time. We got to explore what it was like for Daniel and his friends after they'd been captured and taken to Babylon. We all learned so much. God's Word came alive in new ways for everyone. First, our family joined a group named after one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Each one had a tribe leader who guided discussions and led our group during the week. After meeting up with our tribe, Everyone gathered for upbeat worship at Celebration. The music is, well, you'll just have to hear it for yourself. It's a good thing I hate it. You only have prayer, I hate it. Stand firm through the ups and downs. Stand firm for you know that God is in control. Next, our tribe got together for about 15 minutes of tribe time. Usually, we had a question to talk about, and we planned our mission to do in the marketplace. We looked at our schedule to see when we'd visit each part of ancient Babylon. And my favorite part was getting coins, called derricks, to spend in the marketplace. It was like real shopping. Oh, and we talked about God sightings, evidence that God is with us in everyday life. We wrote our God sightings on paper animals that we added to the Ishtar Gate. By the end of the week, we had our own memorial to God's power in our lives. Then it was time to get going. Half of the tribes at Babylon VBS went to the marketplace first. In the marketplace, there are about 10 shops that we could choose from. How cool is that? We got to choose where to go. Shops were so fun. We got to make flutes that really worked. And I designed a cool mosaic box too. Oh, I even made my own awesome cylinder seal just like they used back in Bible times. VBS crafts have never been this fun. At the Operation Kid to Kid tent, we had a chance to reach out to children in Africa. Our simple donation will help provide a mosquito net to protect a child from life-threatening malaria for up to four years. We also made cards for the kids who will get the mosquito net. 
And we each put a bug sprayer clip on a net as a reminder of all the mosquitoes we're keeping out. My favorite was the food shop. They always had good snacks. Oh, and the animals? They were really cute. A fourth of the tribes go to Palace Playground and have a blast running, cheering, and getting a little messy. Who knew you could learn about Bible times through games like these? Another group of tribes stopped off at Daniel's place every day. I liked hearing things from his viewpoint. I mean, he went through some really amazing stuff. Being captured, learning a new language, facing a really mad king, and of course, those lions. I saw kids and parents sharing their faith. And it's a safe place for that. Kind of like practicing what you'd say to a neighbor or a person at work. It was memorable. Before we knew it, it was time to head home for a 15 minute tribe time. This time we talked about Daniel's story and how it connected with our lives today. We got to use some surprising gizmos and toys to tell about times we faced things like Daniel did. During closing tribe time, we each got a special Bible memory maker. Each of these has the day's scripture on it. Finally, we all got together for more of those awesome worship songs. It really was a celebration of God's power and love. This summer, I hope you get to come to Babylon VBS. <laughs> Yes, I am a very important person here in Babylon, and my name is Ash Panaz. But you know, everybody mispronounces my name, so I came up with a rhyme. You want to hear it? Yes. You repeat after me. Ash Panaz has pizzazz. Ash Panaz has pizzazz. I like hearing that one more time. Ash Panaz has pizzazz. Okay. because of Jesus' incredible love for all of us, that when he died, he came back to life on the third day to show how powerful God really is. He made a way for us to live with God forever. And it's because of Jesus, no matter what, God is with you. This summer, you have a chance to step into the Bible and teach your kids to step out in faith.